Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, using the quadratic formula, solve the equation a square b square x square minus 4 times of b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 into x minus 12 a square into b square is equal to 0. First let us learn that if we have a quadratic equation of the type px square plus qx plus r is equal to 0, then how do we find its roots? The formula to find the roots of this equation is minus q plus minus root over d divided by 2 times of p where d is the discriminant and its value is equal to q square minus 4 times of p into r. So this is the key idea we are going to use and this problem to solve it. Let's now begin with the solution. So on comparing the given equation which is a square b square into x square minus 4b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 into x minus 12 times of a square b square is equal to 0. Let this be equation number 1. And on comparing this with the general form of the quadratic equation, we find here that p is equal to a square b square, q is equal to minus 4b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 and r is equal to minus 12 a square into b square. Now, First, let us find the value of d, which is given by q square minus 4 times of p into r. So, we have minus of 4 times of b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole square minus 4 times of p is a square into b square and r is minus 12 a square into b square. This is further equal to 4 times of b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole square plus 48 a raised to the power 4 into b raised to the power 4. This is further equal to 4 times of b raised to the power 4 whole square plus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole square plus 24 sorry here we have minus since the formula to calculate x minus y whole square is x square plus y square minus 2 times of x into y. So here we have 2 times of 4 b raised to the power 4 into 3 times of a raised to the power 4 plus 48 a raised to the power 4 into b raised to the power 4. Now this one simplifying comes equal to 24 a raised to the power 4 into b raised to the power 4 and on simplifying these two we have 4 times of b raised to the power 4 whole square plus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole square plus 24 a raised to the power 4 into b raised to the power 4 and this is further equal to 4 b raised to the power 4 plus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole square. So this is the value of t. Therefore, x which is equal to minus q plus minus root over d divided by 2 times of p is equal to Minus of Q which is minus 4 B raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of A raised to the power 4 plus minus root over D gives 4 B raised to the power 4 plus 3 times of A raised to the power 4. Since I am taking a square root on both the sides, here we have the value of root D is equal to 4 B raised to the power 4 plus 3 times of A raised to the power 4. This whole divided by 2 times of p and p is a square into b square. So this is further equal to 4 times of b raised to the power 4 minus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 plus minus 4 times of b raised to the power 4 plus 3 times of a raised to the power 4 whole divided by 2 times of a square b square. And this is further equal to on taking the plus sign first, we have 
8 b raised to the power 4 divided by 2 a square into b square or I'm taking the minus sign we have minus 6 a raised to the power 4 divided by 2 times of a square into b square which is further equal to 2 4 is 8. Cancelling b square with square this as it is. So we have 4 b square divided by a square or from here we have on simplifying 3 a square cancelling with a square. So we have minus 3 a square divided by b square. Thus on solving we get the values of x as 4 b square divided by a square and minus 3 a square divided by b square. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.